All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is your boy B, Bullet RC. I'm coming at you guys again with yay another the night. When is another week, which means a whole nother slew of releases dropping. I'm gonna talk about one shoe from before. If y'all don't know the format, this is where we come together at the end of the week. Talk about what we think is trash, basura, garbage, fugaga, whatever. You don't like it, let me know. You like it, let me know. If I don't talk about it, either I didn't like it, I forgot, or honestly, I just didn't give a shit to talk about it. <laughs> which rolls into I just don't like it. So it was a slow week at first, but we got a couple releases to talk about, some new news. So y'all sit back, relax, let's get into it. So first up, we gotta talk about the big one from last week, which was the Arctic Orange, which is just the pink, just on Air Jordan 2. One, they're fire. Two, they're fucking fire. Three, they're 500 bucks. You, you thought I was gonna say a fire again? No, they're half a rack, which sucks because then it makes me very hypocritical when I just talked bad about the DMP pack being half a rack and I was like, I just didn't think they were worth it. But for the Just Dons, I feel like I would do it. I don't know, I just, I, I would rather have the Just Dawn 2 than either of those DMP pack shoes, but I'm gonna just leave that in the past. I'm gonna leave that one in the past. And four, they're still fucking fire. For half a rack, they were a little bit expensive. The first blue joint was like 350, then you had the beach one, which was, I wanna say 650 with the hat, and then they dropped another one's at five. It's like the prices are steadily increasing. I feel like with the resellers, they're just seeing how much resellers are selling it for, and they're just hiking the price up, knowing that people will pay it if they are gonna pay a thousand for the blue pair. So I just kinda feel like that's what's going on. It is what it is. I did not end up with a pair, but I will be looking for a delayed W on those. So we'll see what happens. So first up for this week, and yes, I will still be doing a review on this. I hopefully I can have that one up by tomorrow this is the a6 and bodega gel my i'm sorry if you guys hear my phone going off i got one more raffle i'm entered into for the zebras and i'm not trying to miss a call i'm gonna be heated if i'm over here recording that joint vibrates i don't hear it then i check it later and they're like oh yeah you won so my bad for the the iphone sounds but it's for an important reason don't worry now i believe these dropped today or yesterday when i dropped the video i got mixed reactions which i expected this is a very different shoe it's funny how some people ask for to see different stuff then you show different stuff then they hate on it but then you show the hype stuff and they love it even though they don't want to see the hype stuff because it's the same as everything else sorry mini rant is over in my opinion i'm digging them i like them they're still available in most sizes i think a couple sizes sold out so like i said i will try to get this review out to you guys tomorrow so i'll talk more about it then if you did want to see a few more shots on this though i will leave a link down below to the video i featured these in next one now we got some more news on the clot in nike air vapor max this is basically your all red with a couple hints of black here and there vapor max when i saw the original leak photos i was like okay they're clean then i saw the official photos and i was like they look kind of weird and now seeing these on feet photos outside in natural light i think they look good i'll be looking to grab a pair but we will see how limited they will be we know we have the off-white vapor max as well coming so we'll just see how that goes from what i'm seeing i'm liking them all red base y'all know like i said on the red sway 5 video the all red shoe craze was three or four years ago, but I think it might look good on a Vapor Max. We will see, and if I can pick them up, I got y'all on the review. I still gotta review some other ones too, so you already know how that goes. Next up, we got another collab from Brain Dead and Vans. This one comes with an era in old school and a slip on, and I think pink, blue, and yellow. I'm not the biggest fan of Brain Dead. I've never copped anything from their brand. I've seen it in my local shop, Commonwealth. I've almost copped a T here or there. I'm not really interested in this collab for the Vans. I almost kinda like one of the t-shirts better than the shoes themselves. So for me, I'm a pass on these, but I know some of you Vans heads out there might be digging these. And with the recent Vans collabs with Pata, and I think they did one with Anti Social Social Club. They've been hitting it off. And then we also have the Fear of God Vans coming later this year. But those are probably way off. We'll talk about those when we get to those. Brain Dead, Vans, new collab, me, I'm passing, but let me know what you think. Then we got another multicolor Adidas Ultra Boost. This time the whole upper is multicolor. I'm feeling this one, but I think it will look better on a mostly base white shoe. This is more like a black with a multicolor. I think a white with a lighter type of multicolor would look better. You know, like something similar to what they did in New York, but stick to that pattern and that lighter hue with that lighter multicolor knit and then mix more of a white base shoe onto it. I think it would be a good look. I'm kind of burnt out on Ultra Boost right now and NMDs right now. So if there's something that's hot fire that I really like, I go out and grab. Like there was some that I kind of like, like the wings and horns joints that were all tan knit. 
I kind of like those, but I just decided to pass them. It's like an all beige joint. I decided to pass them. A lot of the Ultra Boosts these days that are dropping, I'm starting to pass on. And I'm just waiting for more of those more essential colorways. If I don't need it, I don't grab it. Like I said, man, I got black, gray, tan. So I have those base colors that I need. And at this point, I'm just getting really picky with it. They're dropping a whole bunch of them. They drop all the time. So it's not nothing that I'm really pressed about. I'm not really pressed on it. Then we got a preview of a new Choir Kai 54 Air Jordan 1. And they're okay. But when I look at this black and red and black and blue mismatched shoe, I think of another shoe that I think is way better. And let me just go ahead Y'all probably don't talk. Let me grab those real quick. Now, I think when these dropped in 2014, these were on my number one of the list. I have the black pair and the white pair, and that is, of course, the Nike SB and Air Jordan 1, the Lance Mountain joints. And I've been wearing mine. Mine are still a little bit dirty in the box, as you guys can see. But I haven't really skated them heavy like that, so they're still in good condition. So when I look at that Kai 54 or Kai 54 or whatever, Air Jordan 1, I immediately thought of the Lance Mountain ones. No, these are not suede or new buck uppers but I like this pair and then I also have the white pair of Lance Mountains back there better than this Kai joint so that's gonna be another one we just passed on I, don't, I honestly just don't care about this release one of the better ones but I just don't care like what happened to the sale Air Jordan ones those were the ones I was looking for they were supposed to drop on the 20th they didn't drop I'm waiting till they drop because I need to cop those ASAP definitely take the sale pair over the Kai joints for sure. So we had another collab drop. I'm not sure if they dropped in the States. I know they dropped overseas. I know Sneaker and stuff had them, but that is the Pigal or Pagal, whichever one, and however you pronounce it, Air, Shake, and Destruct. Now these ones are very clunky basketball shoes, but with that Pigal Lux feel to it, I copped the old gray low top forces and I had the high top forces from about a year or two ago. I had both of those. The gray ones are probably need to let go of their size 11, a little bit too small, but the all like bronzed out copper pair of Air Forces, I still have those. Now, as far as the industry goes, they're clean, but if I bought this shoe, it would probably just sit in the box. I really like the materials. I like how they're you know throwing a different twist on it but i know i would probably never wear it so we're going to leave those ones right on the sites right on the shelves if i see them somewhere i see them maybe if they go on sale i cop them but we'll see how that goes then we had our first look that kind of just dropped out of nowhere the air jordan 6 this satin joint the bomber jacket guys it's an all over green satin silk upper looks like very similar to the satin air jordan one then you have the quilted on the side panels there's no holes on the ankle bubble this is interesting i feel like this shoe is definitely going to look better in person i'm not sure on it yet just from the pictures that i've seen but once i see them in person in hand my opinion might change on them a bit y'all already know the satin air jordan ones were crazy they look really good in person so We'll see how the six adaptation goes. Now, just because they're satin like the ones, I don't think these are gonna be as limited as the ones. I feel like they're gonna be similar to the all gold Pinnacle Air Jordan 6 that we saw last year. I think it's gonna be something similar to that, but we will see when they drop. If I can get them in my hands, I will show you guys don't worry. Next up, we got some Adidas basketball news. We have four lifestyle colorways of the Harden Volume 1. I do like James Harden's shoe. I think it's a clean basketball shoe. And this lifestyle adaptation of it, the salmon pair is my favorite pair. I think there's red, black, white, and this pinkish salmon colorway. Best colorway, in my opinion, is a salmon colorway. And they look so good that I feel like I could wear this Lux version of the basketball sneaker with jeans on the regular. I just think it's a good looking basketball shoe. And with that lifestyle adaptation, I think they look even better for someone who like me is gonna wear it for like casual use. Will I cop though? I don't know, we'll see. I feel like it would be between that salmon pair or the KD-10. That would probably be my next like basketball sneaker pickup. One of those. So I imagine a lot of you guys already know this news. Lonzo Ball is now on the Lakers. We know this, and he had a new colorway of the ZO2 on in a Lakers colorway. Now, I'm glad that they have their own business. I'm glad that they're pushing their own product, going independent. Salutes so for being an entrepreneur. But these shits right here, they're worse than the original. I, I, I just... I don't know. The shits are just ugly. Like that's that's it. I mean, salutes to you for making something of your own. Our first creation isn't our best creation. But I mean, like these joints, I I'm not even gonna spend a lot of time on them because 
is nothing constructive I'm gonna say. All I'm gonna say is salutes for being an entrepreneur. These shits retail for $495. Basura. As my homie would say, Pinche basura, garbage. Okay, so we got a couple more stories and then we are gonna wrap this one up. The next one I came across is that Nike is now going to be selling directly through Amazon just because they're trying to monitor all the fakes on the net. And I'm pretty sure there's some business aspects. Of course, so many people shop on Amazon, Amazon Prime members, two day shipping. I am one of those people. So I don't have a lot of information on this. All that I know is Nike will now be selling directly through Amazon. And I will definitely make sure to try that one out for a video to show you guys ordering shoes off Amazon. I don't think I've ever done that. Nah, I've never bought anything off Amazon. Never. Not shoes at least. Other shit, all the time. <laughs> Closing this one out, I need to mention some heat. So we got all three of the PSNY Air Jordan 12s releasing soon on June 28th. You have the olive green, you have the burgundy kind of more so purple pair, and then you have the wheats, and these three are releasing in New York City, Paris, and Milan, but also the Nike sneakers app on the 28th. As far as release details, that's all we got. They're releasing for 300 bucks. And let me tell y'all, that burgundy pair, hopefully that's not only limited to females, I'm not sure if they have men's sizes in that one, I would assume that they would, but that burgundy pair in person is cold. I've seen them at SneakerCon. I like the burgundy pair almost better than the olive or the wheat. I think the wheat is the last. It's like wheat, olive, burgundy. I think I'm gonna be going for that burgundy pair. If I can get them, y'all already know. Video's coming, but we all know how that goes. The PSNY stuff limited so we'll see how it works and then to end it off we have some more looks at new v loan and air force one collabs flown air force one collabs in black and green black and orange black and yellow black and blue and maybe there's one more i know there's one that's black yellow and red my favorite from what i've seen so far is that pair it's either just black and yellow or the black yellow and red but we already know how this release is gonna go the last shoe sold out and if you wanted it, you had to pay a grip, so that's how it's gonna be. So if you want this shoe, I recommend that you guys follow like Bari or follow the V-Loan Instagram or Twitter. Turn on those post notifications and just try your best. I'm pretty sure you're gonna do pop-ups, so I wish you good luck if you're going for them. I'm going for them myself, but just know if you miss out, that delayed W is gonna cost you a lot of money off the hip. Trust me. So that is gonna be it for this one. Let me know if I missed anything, anything you wanted me to talk about. I try to chop it back up with you in the comments. So that's it. Much love to all the fam, followers, and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cb, by the way. Here, there, blase blood, of course. My name is Jeff. And I will see y'all on the next video. Y'all be easy. I am out of here. Peace.